It's a time! Package from China time! Mm, it's going to be a big one, so let's go! Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. In this video I just wanted to take a close look at something that has been laying around in my storage for quite a long time now. And before that I had it on my list was for I think a year or so. These are the Metal Slug Neo Geo collectibles. I found them on Aliexpress. There are not a lot of sellers but I can tell you these things were looking so cool and they are absolutely nostalgia. I just wanted to check it out. Are they actually worth picking up and how is the overall quality? There are in total five of them and all five are like having a combination deal. You can buy them separately. They're not very cheap to buy but I was thinking you know man I need to have this. As a big fan of Metal Slug uh, there is not a lot of collectible items so far I know so I picked up these things from Aliexpress. So let's do a quick unboxing together five dioramas and all of them resemble some part of the game and metal slug was one of my favorite games to actually play i still boot it up every single time i'm just grabbing my neo geo and of course if you want to buy the game the aes or the mvs especially the aes complete the box is super expensive so yeah nevertheless it's a lot of fun and they did port it to different kind of systems and that's kind of cool well, let's do a quick unboxing of all five of them. So one of the things I find kind of hilarious that it says already the images are prototypes and may vary slightly from the actual product. Oh yeah. All right. But you can just see there are five different ones. Already mentioned before is that one of them you can just buy them just separate if you just want to have a single diorama. But I just wanted to check all of them. So we're having over here the Fatty, the Mummy, the Wendigo, the Hostage and the Metal Slug itself. They're all brand new sealed and the overall quality of the boxes are quite okay. And particularly okay you can just see there is some damage going on over here. I don't know if this is like old stock. But yeah, again you can find them on Aliexpress and they are are yeah kind of weird and kind of difficult to find because some will sell them as a complete kit some only have a couple of them but let's see so you can just put them in display in the box i don't want to do that because i want to enjoy it and just also showcase it so between here having it has been sandwiched between the two plastics and this is the first diorama and when i'm looking up close to this thing the quality really looks nice it's kind of cool what it would be like a very extra thing if you can just actually like have like an um, let's say a tiny case around it but this is actually very cool you can just see one of those let's say situation in the game the gun that he's holding was kind of nice it's just silver but not a lot of details the head the stuff that he spews out of his mouth looks kind of cool translucent so everything this kind of hollow but it is not like super light weighted over here is having the brand made in china and it seems to be this is from 2012 okay so these things are quite old so it seems to be that is old stock and also everything at the background looks kind of cool but let's get to the next one Okay, so next up, let's take a close look at the one that was called Wendigo. Okay, so it's the same kind of packaging. The condition is kind of nice, so it seems that these things are very old now. So let's do an unboxing. Okay, the glue is already let loose over here. Okay, so let's remove this bad boy. And let's take a close look at it. And yep, the same like the previous one. <laughs> oh, this deer, yeah, I look really awesome. Yeah, this one, absolutely the details on his face, or at least the Wendigo, everything, the teeth. Yeah, this is absolutely awesome, cool, like tiny, collectible. We have some bolt malfunction or nothing, like of a big deal, but yeah. The overall quality, again, is very nice. So the first one I actually wanted to buy is this metal slug. 
Yep, and I can tell you that this is absolutely awesome to have this. If you're going to be looking around, there are a lot of, let's say, custom-made or old, let's say, figures that you can collect, and most of them are actually the tank. But this thing is such a cool thing. I just wanted to check it out, but so far so good, and everything are, is absolutely looking great. So over here, when you're looking at the mold between you do see some minor mispaint by the over qualities again very splendid i'm very happy to see this one it's also got like a more weight to it than all the other ones but as you if you can just see like the tank it does have some overall details a lot of silver has been used but they're using some shadow effect with the black Okay, it's time to look at the Fetty. I can still remember also when it comes to the Metal Slug 6, the not official game. I can tell you that it was kind of funny when you're grabbing like some, some random power up, you're getting like super fat. You know, it's kind of cool that they implemented it. That's still maybe one of my favorite ones to play, the modified version. But also I needed Celestial Heart the first time I've noticed it. So the details on all of these pieces are absolutely stunning. And this one does it, it does even have some more details to it, like the gold coins, the 1000 coins. And overall, when you're looking at the sand and everything, yeah, they did a stunning job. You can see that are some more things. Do if this is plastic, of course, you can see some minor lines, but nothing very bad or so. Another favorite of mine is called the Hostage, and it's actually where you're getting the power-ups. And this is one of those very cool dioramas I have personally, so let's say, some connection with. Because this happens all freaking time in the game, where he just screams thank you, and just giving you some random power-up, like a rocket launcher, or, you know, a machine gun, you name it. And that makes this thing even more legendary. So, yeah, the first impression, look at his face. <laughs> And then a combination with like he's dropping, you know, he's dropping actually like some bag or so with the H. And that's actually for, I think it was for the machine gun. That's it. You know, it's kind of cool. It looks nice. The, the, the face expression, I think, is one of the best ones from all the five of the statues. You know, when you're looking at, let's say, the design, you can just see some slight, let's say, differences. You can see he was leaning back a little bit more over here on the picture. He doesn't do that on the main, but that's not a big problem. In short, they are absolutely hidden gems. If you love Neo Geo, Metal Slug, you want to collect something cool, these are absolutely epic. I've never seen those before. So where there are so many bootleg stuff from AliExpress and most of the time really bad quality, I am just surprised how good this is. And so far I can see they seem legit or I don't know where they're coming from, but it's kind of cool to see that you can actually buy some cool items. I was actually searching for some Neo Geo statues, Metal Slug in particular, and I couldn't find a lot of different items. And I'm very glad that I finally picked them up after waiting so long, because they look absolutely great. Surprised by the overall quality and how funny they are, this is absolutely a nice resemblance of the game that I still love to play and enjoy today. Let me know in the comments what do you think of these things, would you pick it up, and yeah, I don't know how long they will be for sale, because so far I see some sellers have been sold out with a couple of those items. Nevertheless, thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and it would be great to see you in the next video.